Okay, I just thought of another topic, a talk, couple topics to talk, talk about while I do this grinding I guess shit. Um, I'm actually liking this, it's pretty fun. Um, what thing that grinds my gears is when someone says I'm not funny. That's actually really funny, because uh, anyone who knows me, they usually, when, even when I was younger, I only used to, people used to hang out with me and smoke me all the time because I would just make them laugh. I'm just an asshole, because I just, I just make jokes out of my ass all the time. Literally, I'm like the magic ass shitting funny fairy. Um, <laughs> what's another thing? Um, when people say they can hold their booze and they come over and we come and we drink, and uh, there's some stories uh, my friends telling me about some people like, oh, I'm gonna drink a beer, take an Adderall, and shit all over myself. Ew, that's fucking gross. Uh, or people coming over here, fucking getting, like, okay, me and my friends one night, when we first hung out with this kid, we didn't, we're not really fond of, the kid's a little queer, basically, but he bought a, he bought a bottle with us, because he had money, he bought a bottle of UV, he fucking drank the whole bottle, four heads on a bottle of UV, a handle, the big, big fucking gallon bottles, like, we pounded that bitch, mind you, I hate UV, I like vodka, but I don't like UV. That shit's like t drinking Robitussin with like out like no DXM, like disgusting. Um, but yeah, we get to the end of the night. I'm smashed. Everybody's smashed, but we at least kept the composure except for one kid. That one kid, fucking all over the place, getting sick. One of my friends goes to the bathroom, starts puking in the toilet. Instead of sharing the toilet with my friend, he goes to my sink, plugs and it's plugged up. So he didn't bother pulling the drain thing out. Fucking disgusting. I feel bad for my mom. She cleaned it in the end because I couldn't do it till the morning. And I I felt bad. But fucking kid pukes in my sink. Fills it up. I'm like, motherfucker, empty that. He tried, He's like, I'm going to drive home. He couldn't even walk straight. I mean, like, when you say walk straight line, at least you can walk straight and go and you start going crooked. No, this kid was literally like, falls to the ground, trying to take a step. My friend Chops and uh, Kevin tried helping me fucking drag the kid in my room. I was going to crash. Gave him a puke bucket and put his head in it. He was like gagging himself, putting his neck over the bowl, gagging in it. Like he was choking himself. He couldn't even hold his head up and he couldn't even pronounce any words. That's annoying. And then the really annoying part is that I had to be the mature one and fucking call his father to pick him up. And you know what I get? Fucking, I go to help his father to get him up, and I look like an asshole because his son's been puking the whole fucking time. I got puke on my bed, and on in the bowl he was doing it, and made me look like an ass because I was trying to help out. And all his fucking puking made me sick after a while. That's fucking something that grinds my fucking gears on that one. Um, when people stare at you when you go out, like I hate that. I'm not paranoid. I I'm, I'm actually a little paranoid, but there's a fine like line, not even a fine line, there's a big line between literally just staring at someone as they walk by like like that's fucking creepy, like I hate when people do that or when, hey, I haven't been in high school in fucking like two years, three years now I've been going to night school I find out the other day a class was talking about me nothing bad but it's just like who brings me up? Like, I don't want to be even talked about. Like, I do not want to be heard of. I am the person that does not want to be noticed in, about school. Like, no. Not at all. You know what's annoying, too, is when you go out, go to get some food, you have everything all sta- all you, all you and your friends are throwing down, you're all getting food, but then there's that one kid always turns around and says don't have money and then you're like oh, split the bill and then you have to split the tips and that's like oh uh, another thing that pisses me off is when I go to eat bread in my house and I go pull it out and it's fucking molded the shit and no one's throwing it out I be an asshole I leave it there till they realize it and they go to have a slice of bread and they get mad cause you know what that's not right at all. Um, another thing I hate is when I clean my room 
I'm told I can get, I can repaint my walls and I clean it, get a get a nice pet as I'm, and I can't. And then if you look at my room now, it's a fucking trash hole. I haven't bothered cleaning it in months uh, because nothing good can come out of cleaning it. What's the point of cleaning it? And if I'm gonna move out when I get my checks, well, why would I just move out? Because it's not, it's pointless. Um. Another thing that pisses me off is how everybody like is listen uh, goes to a uh, fucking therapy. It's a club around in Providence. I like techno. I like it a lot. I li I would love to go there, but the part grinds my gears is the fucking cover charge. It's fucking twenty five bucks. There's no alcohol in the club. There's no alcohol there. You can buy drugs there, lots of drugs, as I suppose they had, lots of drugs, lots of illegal narcotics and shit. Um, and it's 25 bucks to get in. And you know what that 25 bucks is going towards? Every time that dubstep or whatever, a house makes that bang, boom, bass noise, it's fucking just like, your 25 bucks getting sucked into a bass amp, okay? And for every thud, it's 25 bucks. But you know what, actually, well, they're making more money off you than uh, making so much money. Because 25 bucks a ticket, you guys are willing to pay to go to an after party club for that. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. You could actually go, in all actuality, all they really need is like 10 bucks. And they'd be making enough to pay for the equipment and everything. And still have enough to pay all the people. Maybe 15. But 25 bucks, go fuck yourself. That's not worth going into a club. Like, oh. Another thing that pisses me off is when you give someone, uh, since you're not, I'm not 21. But my, I have some friends that have brothers and shit that are 21. And they go out, they buy, we give them money to get us a bottle, and they come back with the wrong bottle. Or I went to go see a Gua concert once, and we wanted to buy a nice bottle of the room. Not really nice, it's only cheap, it's cheap fucking peppermint schnapps, but usually 100%, so I get you fucking drunk. His brother comes back with a fucking bottle of 20 proof. Dude, it was like drinking fucking mouthwash. Literally, 7% higher than mouthwash. Like, what? Like common thought people like we and I gave him fuck we gave him more than enough to get the the bottle we wanted and a thing of dip to do it for us and the kid fucking still got us the wrong bottle and we couldn't even get drunk or another thing that pisses me off when I went to go see Charlie Sheen stand up act yeah he's winning because he won my money Charlie Sheen sucks a lot he sucks in person I bet too but to me he's still an idol because he did he does everything I want to do and he got paid for it like, how do you do that? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out. I'm going to take my camera. I'm going to make a fucking video. Just like him. I'm going to make my own TV fucking show. It's going to be like fucking Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Just me and my friends bitching back and forth until fucking resolve issues. Until and stupid, like, shit happens. Like, it's so fucking easy. Or another thing that pisses me off is when people say, like, good movies suck, but bad movies are good. Like, okay, some people say Insidious suck. Insidious is a pretty damn good movie. It has a great storyline, or, um, what's another one? Shutter Island. That was a great movie. Great fucking ending. Anyways, it's stupid. It's stupid. It made no sense. Because you know why? Because people like you out there don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because you basically don't have a fucking intellectual mind at all to understand. Not even intellectual. You just need to have a fucking mind. To understand a movie. It's a movie. You sit there, you watch it, entertainment. If you can't, maybe shut it around. I'll give you a chance to watch it twice to catch all the fucking little details they met, that you talk about in the end. But you watch a horror movie and you don't get, and you don't like certain ones, or you watch an action movie and you don't get it. There's some issues with you. And another thing that pisses me off before I stop this video is when someone. And say, uh, when I ask people, do you know who this writer is or what this show was? And it was from when we were younger, like, let's say, Rodal, Shel Silverstein, um, Egan Allan Poe. I used to read that when I was younger. And no one knows these names. Like, you need a slap to the face. You need to read a book, not watch the movie or whatever it is. Oh, I heard The Black Cat before. Or uh, Taylor of Montiago. I've seen that movie, that remake. Oh, you know what? You're retarded. There is you're retarded like movies um technology periods fucking our whole world up and when the government feels like that we're, we're getting too close to starting to riot up we're gonna end up 
having martial law enacted in every one of your little cell phone computers, GPS's, anything the government can track you with. Okay? And that's what fucking grinds my gears. Peace.